Hello folks, Jason Cressman here, Grazing Acres Farm. Uh, if you follow my channel, you may know I just recently started weaning some of my calves. Well, it's that time of year where I need to start thinking about worming before these calves leave and at the same time before the growing season starts. Now, as far as wormers, um, we use uh, an organic method. It's called Shakely's Basic H and it's actually a commercial um, concentrate cleaner and uh, Joel Salatin uh, discovered years ago that it was uh, completely organic and natural and it worked very well for controlling worms. Um, so ever since then a lot of uh, grass-fed people um, have resorted to using shake leaves and uh, this is what it looks like. This is not the container it came in but this is what it looks like. You can see it's got a bluish color kind of looks like uh, looks like Dawn dish soap and like I said it is a soap it is a cleaner a commercial cleaner they make a couple of different kinds and from what little bit I just read this morning online um, you want to use the original if you use it for a warmer not the new h2 version now from what I've read the new h2 version is only sold in small bottles um, as where the original is sold in five gallon buckets now it's pretty common that uh, grass-fed farmers, um, if you got a couple in your area, kind of chip together and buy a five-gallon bucket and they divvy it up. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and put some of this into the calves' water, which I've switched out to a smaller tank this morning. And we're going to add some to the cattle stock tanks over here. So we're going to start off with this uh, with the calves' tank. And they've been using that 100 gallon tank right back there behind that calf but i drained it this morning just because i need to do this treatment and for only 11 calves this 17 and a half gallon tub ought to work just fine now sure i may have to return at one o'clock and make sure it's full but that's a lot easier than uh putting it in a 100 gallon tank when they can't reach the very bottom so what we're going to do now is uh, like I said this is 17 and a half gallons to add shake leaves to it and my recipe kind of smeared this morning dropped the bottle by accident slipped right out of my hands so what you want to do is shake leaves it's one tablespoon for every five gallons or a little more than a cup for 100 gallons up to a cup, a cup and a half is what that said down there um, if you've read grass-fed beef, um, or if you've read Salad Bar, uh, Joel's, Joel's book, uh, Salad Bar Beef, um, he points out how he uses this in there, and he actually noticed that the cattle ate a little, little less when they were uh, being, being given this. So what we're going to do now is I got me a measuring spoon here. Uh, I need to put one tablespoon per every five gallons. So. 17 and a half gallons I would need three full ones and a half let me go ahead and add that now and then we'll come right back okay so I've got it added now one thing I've noticed over the last couple years when you use uh, shake leaves you don't want to add it to the water tank first go ahead and fill it with water first and then add the shake leaves um, if you put it in first it's going to be all suds before you get the tub a quarter of the way full so add the water first, then add the shake leaves. So now I'm gonna go over here and add it to the 100 gallon stock tanks for the big cattle. And uh, we'll keep this going pretty much all day today. And then tomorrow we'll just offer just plain straight water tomorrow. So one day treatment, um, get it all day, make sure everybody gets a dose. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, I would like to add, um, I did a little bit of reading this morning to find out if this played any effect on dung beetles because I say I don't want to I don't want to hurt our dung beetle population um, from what little bit I found it is safe for dung beetles um, and one way that you can assure that is to worm in the dormant season so right now uh, we're kind of pre-spring um, so I'm gonna go ahead and offer it today before dung beetles are even a scenario So here I am. I'm back up here to top off the water troughs. And it seems 
regardless how you go about refilling these tanks, after they've had shake lees in it, there's pretty much no way to avoid the suds. As you can see here, it's just sudded like crazy, and I haven't even added another dose of shake lees to this. Over here where the calves are, I've had to refill this already twice today. This is the third time. Um, got our little sud beard going on there. You gonna get some flop? I'm gonna top it back off, buddy. So I hope this video has been helpful, insightful to you. Um, if you like the video, throw me a thumbs up. That'll help boost it in the YouTube search ranks and make it easier for other grazers to find. If you haven't subscribed, please take time to do so and make sure you click on the little bell so that you get notified when I release new videos. Thanks for watching. Crazy Acres Farm. Mm -hmm.